So far in this course we have covered so many concepts. Now it is time to work on a real time application and we will learn all the remaining concepts of the angular in this real time application. As a first step we have to create a new repository on the github. You can also use other providers like the azure devops and the bitbucket etc. But here I will be using github. So let's understand how can we set up the repository on the github and how can we sync the local and the server repository. Here I am on the github account and I have logged in using my username and the password. Now if you will click on the new repository then you will get this page. Over here you have to use no template then this is the owner of this repository and here I have to provide the name of my repository. So let's say I am writing bookstore angular because here I will be creating a bookstore application in the angular. So just to identify it here I am using this name of the repository. Then we have the description this is the optional and then we have the visibility level so here i will be having the public visibility because you can also use the source code and can learn more about the angular then we have this option to add the new initialization file so i do not want to add anything over here let's simply create the repository here we got the new repository now i have to clone this repository on my local system so that i can sync the local and the remote repository and there are multiple ways so here i will be using this https and for that here i have to copy this link you can simply click on this button now just go back to the file explorer of your system and here at this place i want to create this repository and here you can use multiple options either you can use the command prompt or you can also use the tortoise git that you have installed in your system and make sure before cloning the repository in your local system you have installed the git. Now to clone the repository you have to write git space clone space just provide the entire URL of your repository. So there we go git clone and then the entire path hit the enter button. This operation is successful and we have an empty repository over here. Now let's close this window and just open this bookstore angular here you can see there is nothing we only have the empty repository and now it is time to create a new angular application over here so for that here i am using again the command prompt and this time i will be using the ng command ng new bookstore just hit the enter button we do not know anything about the routing so far so here again i am choosing no and this time here I will be using this SCSS then hit the enter button. The installation of the node module will take some time based on the configuration of your system. Okay now let's see what we got in this folder. So here we have one new application bookstore app and inside this application we have the entire code. So right click on this one and let's see what we got over here. So there are so many files and all of them are in this unknown state. Let's select all these files and just right click, choose this add, okay. And here let's enter app in it. Let's hit the commit button. Let's close it. Now we have committed the changes and now let's push the changes. So for that I have to go to this tortoise git and just hit on this push button. Hit the ok button. So in this operation we are pushing all the changes from our local repository to the server repository. And now you have two options. First is sign in with your browser or you can also provide the token. Let's click on this sign in with the browser. Just click on this authorize git credential managers. It is successful. Now you can close it and just go back to that command prompt. So here it is done. Just close it. And just refresh this page here you can notice that we are having the entire code this is the message that we have written in our commit and this is the folder that has the entire code so here we have all the files now you can also clone this code in your own system all you have to do is just use this entire url and paste it in your browser so let's say here i'm using the private window like this just paste it hit the enter button and you can notice that it is visible to everyone 
you have to click on this code and just use this clone so use git space clone and this entire url and just hit the enter button and because this is a public repository so you do not have to enter the username or password nothing like that and it will work again if you do not want to clone the changes you simply want to download it then you can use this download zip options 